Trench jack or soil arching principles is integral to the design and safe use of MGF's new lightweight shoring range Gripshaw. It is important that users of the product range have a basic understanding of these principles and its requirements to ensure shoring equipment is safely deployed. The principles have been used successfully in the United States for over 50 years. The following animation provides a brief introduction as to how it works. Put simply, soil arching is a phenomenon observed in trenches whereby the soil redirects load away from the faces of the trench and concentrates it onto the trench jacks. Classic soil arching principles explain that when hydraulic struts are pressurised against the sides of an excavation, the ground behind the struts is activated and begins to compress, creating micro-movements within the soil which induce compressive stresses that join together in an arch shape between the trench jacks. These arches form in both the vertical and horizontal planes, and provided the jacks are robust enough to resist the full soil loads, a safe working area can be created. Once the arches are formed within suitable soils, only small amounts of uncompressed soil outside of the arches should fall into the trench. This is known as surface raveling. Suitable soils are generally described as those that will stand vertically unsupported long enough for a support system to be deployed. In addition, these soils will not show signs of raveling between loaded jacks for the planned durations of the works. Whilst raveling in suitable soils is unlikely to cause injury, it can be prevented by specifying fully boarded or part boarded trench jack systems. MGF supply a full range of boarded and unboarded systems and recommend that for each excavation an individual risk assessment is carried out by a competent person to determine the appropriate system to be deployed. If any signs of raveling are observed or you are in any doubt about the soil suitability always deploy a fully boarded system. Fully boarded gripshaw systems offer full protection in the event that soil arching is not activated. To ensure soil arching occurs it is essential that at all times the trench jacks directly load the soil. Always ensure that the jacks bear directly onto an even surface and if necessary pack out of the jack locations. Prior to entry check that all the jacks are loaded and rigid by gently tapping them with a metal rod. Unsuitable soils for soil arching include very loose granular, very soft cohesive, poorly compacted fill and any soils either in contact with or bearing water. During the removal of trench jacks, great care must be exercised as a sudden release of the jack load can destabilise the trench walls. It is recommended that prior to removal the trench is backfilled as far as is practicable. The jacks are released from the outside of the excavation and the operatives avoid standing over trench edges. Please refer to MGF's website and YouTube channel for further animations and technical literature.